Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Libra, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Priestess of Light Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of angel numbers, any repeating numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right. I also wanted to remind everyone that we have a new moon coming up here on November the 13th. This new moon is in the sign of Scorpio, very passionate, very intimate energy. This new moon is allowing us the opportunity once again to start fresh or to start new beginnings, whatever these are for you. And I feel now is a time to set those intentions plant those seeds, utilize the moon's energy to push us forward towards those goals. So this beautiful energy that is coming in is allowing us to express ourselves passionately in whatever way or form we want or desire. And I just feel that um, now is the time for us to really start that routine, start on that habit, start on that project, whatever it is that you're wanting to do, it's now time to start. And I just... I'm just feeling really good about this energy, everyone. So I just feel that we should all tap into it. All right, Libra, let's pull some cards here and see what spirit guides would like you to know today. All right, we are starting with the King of Swords. Very powerful, very passionate energy that is coming in for you here. And I feel uh, the new moon in the sign of Scorpio has something to do with this very passionate energy powerful energy working in your favor here. This is where spirit guides want you to ground your energy, Libra, and then rise from that place. It's about laying solid foundations right now. All right, so we've got the King of Swords energy here. We also have the Knight of Cups. So slowly, this is giving me turtle vibes here. So tortoise vibes. Spirit guides are wanting you to move slowly as well. So as you're rising, be compassionate towards yourself here, Libra. I also feel there's an offer incoming here, some sort of a blessing, something that's going to touch your heart. Okay, so prepare for this to come through here or be aware of this coming through. Now, what I want you to do here today, Libra, is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, Libra, but you will also receive your own messages. All right, so we've got the Knight of Cups. We also have the King of Wands. This is double king energy here. Libra, look at all of this power that is coming to Towards you here. I love this. So you have a lot of energy. So grounding for you is going to be very important at this time. I feel as you're rising up, your energy is going to really be affected here in a positive way. So being mindful, aware of all the external energies that are currently affecting you. Okay, when those breezes of change come in, this is why spirit guides want you to ground yourselves because you can stand in your power much more strongly with authority here. This is what the kings are all about, right? So um, I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so the spread is absolutely beautiful and it's also very powerful, Libra. So I just feel that the masculine energy here is really at play and spirit guides really want you to focus. They really want you to kind of roll up your sleeves, start taking some action. They want you to take a more leadership role in your own life. 
All right, this is also about you taking your power back. It also has to do with your belief system and the filter that you're wearing currently. So managing your thoughts, this is going to be a very important one. And you know, how are you looking at your reality? Understanding that our mind is a very powerful force. Anything that we visualize, anything that we put our focus and attention to, anything that we're thinking about is what we are creating in our reality. And spirit guides really want you to um, lay some solid foundations. This is coming through both the king cards here for you by, you know, laying some solid foundations in your own life. What does that look like for you? What does laying down solid foundations mean to you here? Libra, you can comment in the comment section below and share with me. But I feel your belief systems, your values, your morals are all being kind of affected or shifted at this time. And again, for some of you, this might not resonate at all, at all or it may resonate a little bit here, but I do feel there's a shift that is happening within you, okay? So um, it, I feel that this new moon in Scorpio energy is really helping us start fresh. It's giving us an opportunity to really um, look at our light, light, life uh, through some fresh eyes, right? Through a different perspective. And whatever it is that we're wanting to set forth, whatever it is that is new uh, as far as belief systems within us that work for us, that we are kind of like, this works for me. And everything I learned growing up through school, all of that is kind of fading away. It's no longer aligned to you. You're kind of bringing this new version of you it's almost like an identity shift that is kind of occurring in you here a libra and i'm picking i'm picking up on a sagittarius energy that's coming through and i'm also picking up on um, a leo energy so I, I don't know if any of you have been seeing any kind of lions in your life i'm getting a a really big lion like uh lion king where it's standing on a cliff and looking outward so i i just feel that there's energy of freedom coming through this that some of you are really wanting to break free and really live in the life where, in a life where, you know, out external thoughts, external criticism, people's opinions, all of that don't affect you anymore. You're kind of building this strength within you. I feel some of you are already there and you're already in this position of the King of Swords. And you know, having power over your thoughts. Okay, so anytime you're thinking something that puts you in a place of uncomfort, uh, a place of not feeling good, your emotions are a really good um, source to understand wh where your focus is going. So if you're not feeling good, something's putting you down, making you feel sad, or in a certain way, first off, your, val your feelings and emotions are valid. So allow yourself to figure out where this emotion is coming from and why you're feeling this way. And if you're not wanting to feel this way because it's something that is unnecessary, it's a waste of energy, now refocus your, your attention to something else that actually makes you feel good. I feel a lot of the time we have these energies from the past, right, um, that we pick up on or just kind of linger and try to pull us back. So I feel some of you are dealing with that energy that's trying to pull you back towards it. So some of you have made some really good changes in your life. Meditation here is going to be very important for your mind. Libra, if you're able to implement a meditation into your day-to-day -day life, this is really going to have a huge positive impact on you, okay? So it's going to be very important that you actually implement this. Um, they're really wanting me to stress that to you right now. So uh, I just feel, try it. Try it for even two weeks, Libra, and see if meditation does help clear that mind. I'm telling you, I do meditation every single day and it works for me and it's made a huge impact on my own life. So, and, and sometimes we have all of these thoughts that are kind of whirling around in our minds and this is where spirit guides want you to catch yourself whenever you're thinking something that is bringing you to a place of worry, of stress, release that, let it go. Um, what I, a practice that I do is I usually allow uh, myself to release it to God, to source, to my higher self. I say, here, you take it. It's, it's too stressful for me. I can't deal with this right now. Why don't you take it and you figure it out? And I'm going to keep doing the thing that I'm doing. And it usually works for me. The thoughts are then gone. You release it out to the universe, right? So try practicing that and see if that works for you. And releasing it, like actually releasing it, not worrying about it. 
knowing that it's being taken care of right so building some solid foundations here um, really shifting your mindset any of you are interested i have a 14 day mindset challenge ebook you can purchase it in the link there's a link in the description box below um, and it's everything that i use in my own life so it's a really good book to start that positive mindset okay so we have a lot of incoming here a lot of things that are coming towards you're truly being blessed here libra and I feel that when you have your focus, um, when you clear those thoughts out of your mind and you really visualize where it is that you're headed, when you have that crystal clarity, you start to see these opportunities. I feel there's one that's specifically there waiting for you to grab it. Now, this is a very powerful offer. This is a very powerful opportunity or blessing that is coming and it's kind of there waiting for you to recognize it, okay? So I feel for some of you, this could be a love offer because I feel it's going to touch you in a way that you've never felt before. This is a different emotion that I'm picking up on um, and it's coming in and it's there. It's slowly kind of waiting there and I, I feel it's going to unfold. It's going to unravel slowly. It's a positive energy. OK, so you're going to feel really good. This is going to feel like your heart is overflowing with a lot of gratitude, with a lot of love and happiness, joy, just this beautiful feeling. I'm feeling a lot of warmth in my heart right now for you, Libra. So this could be a love offer. This could be a uh, twin flame energy that is entering. This could also be a soulmate energy that is entering your life. This could be a connection that is going to lead you to a life experience that you have never experienced before either which is really going to touch your soul. I feel there's a lot of uplifting here with your soul. There's like an ascension that is happening with this energy that is coming in. Um, this could be that beautiful, passionate energy through, through the sign of Scorpio that's coming in with the new moon, where you're feeling very, like the, look at the amount of passion here in the King of Swords. This is all like you are burning here in desire. You're ready to really unleash that version of yourself, that power, that energy, which is showing up through the King of Wands, okay? So that growth, that expansion that you're wanting, you're going to create that for yourself, Libra. With all of that, I feel there is this like sense of freedom. I don't know how you're freeing yourself up or you're feeling almost liberated or free at this time, or it's about to come in through some sort of an offer, something that's going to unravel slowly here. So I'm seeing some emotion um, extending outwardly here from you, Libra. I also fear, feel some emotions coming inward towards you. OK, so this is like a, a give and take energy um, in a sense. So I don't know if any of you are going to actually reach out to someone that um, you've been wanting to connect with in some way. This could be business related. This could be romantically uh, related. This could be like family members. Perhaps there's someone that you want to rekindle a relationship with, right? Maybe there's uh, some sort of turbulent patch of energy that you have gone through with somebody and you're wanting to kind of mend this relationship. I feel this mending is also coming in. I also feel an offer. Like, I don't know if any of you are... Um, those of you that are married, right? I feel that there's like an offer coming in from your spouse or even like a family member that is going to touch your heart in a way. Okay, so this is really going to open, this is opening a door for you. This is kind of what I'm feeling here. And I feel that 1111 portal energy is still sweeping through your life and really creating this good um, vibration, this good energy. So some of you are going to experience a higher frequency, higher vibration where you're kind of um, flowing through that energy and spirit guys want you to ride this momentum here okay so i just feel there's a lot of beautiful things that are about to unfold in your lives and i i also feel that some of you are meant to move slowly and steadily here in your life as you are working towards your goals because there's almost like this deadline or pressure on you and this is where spirit guides are saying move a bit slowly here okay Things are going to work out the way they were meant to, but there's no point putting some stress, stress pressure on yourself. Um, I don't know if these are some sort of restrictions you put on yourself here, Libra, but they want you to release and let go of it. And, you know, the new moon always gives us the opportunity to release and let go, plant seeds, set intentions and take those steps uh, necessary in order to create what we're setting out into the universe. Right. 
Now, this beautiful energy, I feel some of you are really full of energy. There's so many things that you're wanting to do, a lot of things that you're wanting to accomplish. And I feel this intuitive energy, these intuitive downloads, that inspiration, that creative energy, that flow is in you right now. And you're really wanting to get things done. You're wanting to tackle a lot. This feels almost like a completion cycle for some of you. So some of you may be finalizing things, completing things as you move into this new chapter or as you prepare to move into this new chapter. Chapter. And I feel this new chapter is for a lot of us going to be January the 1st. So I feel this next month and a half for you is going to be a lot of planning, strategizing, really figuring out what needs to change in your life and making the necessary changes and a lot of harvesting is also happening here okay i'm getting this harvest energy what are you trying to harvest here uh, libra for the next season um just it's I just have this feeling of love here. So I just feel there's going to be a lot of partnerships that are going to be built during this uh, winter season here as winter is coming up in December. So uh, the winter solstice for you is going to be really good here. So I'm going to make a, a separate reading for winter solstice. But I do feel around that time there's going to be a pickup of connections for you there's like this expansion happening in your world with connections so spirit cards are wanting you to be open and receptive here because not only are you putting energy out there right now libra but there's incoming energy towards you a lot of good vibrations these are very happy moments experiences that uh, you're meant to experience so spirit guides really want you to be open and receptive especially to people i feel there's going to be an uplift an uptick on uh, the random acts of kindness in some of your lives where you're seeing that oh my gosh i was at the grocery store and someone was kind enough to um you know help me at the store and you know it could be anything some random act of kindness someone buying you a cup of coffee someone paying you a compliment whatever this is it's very small but it goes a long way and i feel it's going to touch you um, even though it's a really small compliment perhaps you haven't had a compliment in a long time here libra someone gives you a compliment and it totally brightens your day this is the kind of energy i'm picking up here with you so not only are you giving that outwardly you're also receiving it even more than you're giving out so um I just feel this is really this is really going to be good for you in so many different ways here now I'm picking up on the number 12 I don't know if any of you were born on the 12th or if the number 12 is of significance to you one plus two is three so spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number three now the number three in numerology is all about um communication it's about growth so that growth that's what I'm feeling here is there's a lot of growth in all areas of your life coming in for you Libra and it's about your focus so you really want to focus on your dreams and goals and not allow, allow any kind of external energies get the best of you here okay and setting those intentions as well all right I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you I'm also going to read the interpretation from the guidebook here so this is the priestess of light oracle deck so I always find that these cards always tie the reading together so I'm excited to see what card uh, we're going to receive for you here Libra all right angelic assistance divine guidance and loving support so look at that the spirit guides I feel people that are on the other side your ancestors they're all there in spirit protecting you and guiding you at this time Libra very powerful energy this is also a number six on the card um, so a lot of uh, I don't know if any of you are caretakers if you are the nurturer um, there's a lot of uh, loving energy coming through this card here for you so perhaps some of you are born on the sixth or the number six is of significance but spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number six right um, and I'm also picking up on a Taurus energy with this uh, angelic assistance uh, uh, card so perhaps there's somebody around you that is a nurturer somebody that gives a lot of themselves uh, to you to or to others that is of Taurus sign right now so isn't that interesting um, I like that for you so angelic assistance so this tender-hearted smiling angel brings you a message of encouragement and support Libra heavenly light emanates from her heart and hands and the brilliance of divine consciousness shines down from above the top of her head this vibrating resonance of healing and loving power is all around you brought by the angels who long to assist you in every area of your life 
If you have never turned to the angels before, now, uh, now is the time to start. They are very real. They are a very real presence in this world, Libra, and they can exert a significant influence on your life. If you have a problem that needs resolving or a project that needs some inspiration, the angels can help you there. Whether you're working on a physical issue or a difficult relationship, the angels bring clarity and healing. So stop resisting and open up to their very real power. Invite them to walk with you through your day. Ask for their guidance, energy, and joyous resolutions. Then let yourself stop and take a moment to receive. You'll be amazed by the healing, peace, and inspiration that comes your way. So Libra, angelic assistance is there for you. It's all about being open and receptive. And that was coming through the king of wands energy being open and receptive to everything that is coming through for you i just feel that um, angels are always around us our spirit guides i always ask them every single morning to be here with me guide me especially through my readings and they're always there so i'm now going to pull an angel number for you some of you have been seeing angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today and you can also use this as an affirmation and look at this libra we're receiving for you triple eight you are abundant here know that own that power look at all of these blessings that are coming through so i don't know if any of you are seeing the infinity symbol if you are seeing number eight anywhere around you again if you're seeing a lion even okay if there's a lion that you've been seeing powerful energy the number eight in numerology is all about action it's about power it's about strength being courageous brave all of that is in the number eight abundance so even financial success as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So look at that Libra. This is what is going on in your world right now. There's a path that is being cleared for you. All right, this is why you have to ground your energy and unleash your powers into the world here, my friends. So this is your reading today. If it resonates, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.